Hey, Tux, dear Luke here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an interior detail on my Audi A4. Now, this car is 13 years old, it's done 170,000 miles, and taking all that into consideration, this car is actually pretty clean. And I think that's partly due to the fact that the previous owner had fitted, fitted car mats into it, looks like he'd vacuumed it out on a regular basis, and it's little things like that really keep the car looking in decent condition. Now I've owned almost 20 used cars at this point and this is probably the cleanest one inside out of them all. Now it's not as clean as I'd like it to be, it does need a good wet vacuum inside still, it needs a few jobs doing to the interior, which I will address in this video, um, but I think it's a decent starting point and I know this car will scrub up really really well. Now this video was actually filmed over the course of about three to four months. I picked this car up in about June or July and what you're seeing in this clip now, this is the car when it was first passed on to me. The first week of ownership, I hadn't even vacuumed the car at this point. So basically what you're seeing is how the owner passed the car on to me. And over the course of a few months, I've just done little jobs to the car, replacing bits of the interior, giving the car a decent clean, a wet vacuum, and there wasn't really one big detailing session, so to speak, it was just lots of little bits here and there. So this is kind of just accumulation of all those different jobs put together. And you're going to see the car change a fair bit in terms of stuff being retrofitted and cleaned by the end of the video. The first thing I wanted to do to the car was remove all the seats out of it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to remove the driver's seat because it looks like someone's had to go in the past and rounded off a couple of the splines, which is something I need to address in the future. But with the seats out, you can see the carpet underneath, there's nothing nasty there, just a bit of dirt, nothing the wet vacuum can't really pick up, and comparing it to the Audi A3 I had before this, this, in the, this detail is going to be so much easier on the inside of the car. And uh, really it's just a case at uh, the moment of just giving the car a decent vacuum out before coming in with a wet vacuum. I started off by saturating the carpet with some carpet shampoo. The one I used was Pro Clean Carpet Shampoo and I will leave a link in the description below. It's actually quite cheap and quite effective. I then agitated this with my Chemical Guys soft bristle brush on the end of my Kielder drill and this was just going to allow any dirt to be loosened up and make it a lot easier to um, take out of the carpet using the extraction function on my Henry wash. Then it was a case of getting my Henry wash and just going over the carpet a couple of times until all the water in there was actually nice and clean when I was soaking them up. On the first pass it was still kind of brown and you could see dirt in there but then I went over a second pass where I shooted more water in there at the same time and by the time the second pass had gone through the carpet was actually pretty clean and almost looking like new. Then it was onto the seats and the worst part for me was the knobbly bits on the Alcantara and this was just hundreds of arse hours on the seats, rubbing against them and causing it to get a bit rough. Thankfully, this is actually something quite easy to address and all we had to do was use 800 grit sandpaper, nice and dry, going back and forth and you see all the knobbly bits come off. And this is actually very, very effective and it's perfectly safe to use, you know, on a once-off type scenario. I wouldn't say use this on a weekly routine, but it's a tried and tested method. Lots of people actually say, use sandpaper on them and it actually does a really good job of getting the seat up almost like new. As you can see in this sped up clip, you see so much bits coming off the seat and it's just a case of vacuuming them up and it really made a massive difference to how the seat's appearance went. Then it was on to the more traditional clean of the seats and I started with the leather. And this bit I used Sam's leather cleaner with a microfiber cloth to remove any looser or less ingrained bits of dirt that's on these seats. The bits I didn't get with that, I then used a magic eraser going back and forth using leather cleaner. And this really did a good job of getting that shininess off the seat and just restoring a matte look. 
The bolsters, of course, have got a little bit of wear to them. There's not much we can do with that. Uh, but overall, considering the seat had done 170,000 miles, the driver's seat still looks pretty good when it was finished. With the leather done, it was then time to actually move on to the Alcantara part of the seat. The one that was outside of the car, the passenger side, that could go a little bit more in depth with because it was a nice, hot, 30 degree summer day. I was able to get the seats really wet because they would just dry out pretty quickly. So I just really saturated the passenger seat. I was a little bit more careful with the driver's seat. And then I just did the exact same process I did with the carpets of agitating it with uh, the chemical guy's brush and I used an extraction function on the vacuum. The thing that struck me the most about this was although the seats actually looked really, really clean taking them out of the car, it was surprising how much dirt was still extracted using a vacuum cleaner. There was a, it took about three to four passes to actually get the seats looking decent without any more dirt coming out. And even the back seats just looked almost like new. There was still a surprising amount of dirt that got lifted out of them. I then quickly applied some protection to the leather parts of the seats. This was just Sam's Ceramic Boost, typically used on paintwork, but it's actually perfectly safe to use on leather. I've covered this in other videos if you're curious. And then I gave the centre console a quick clean, but I have since replaced it with a better one that didn't have the holes in the dashboard where the phone holder had been from a previous owner. So the car now looks a lot more solid. Moving on a few months later, or should I say to last week, I then just decided to tackle a headliner, which was actually a quick and easy job, and I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Uh, but this was just a case of using uh, Verso by Auto Finesse, which is their all-purpose cleaner. I diluted this seven to one, took a Kirkland's microfiber cloth, uh, saturated the cloth, and basically just rubbed back and forth over the dirty part of the headliner. And that removed pretty much all the dirt up there. Even this big, greasy, dirty spot near the B pillar came up very, very clean after just 30 to 60 seconds of scrubbing with the microfiber cloth. And then it was just a quick clean of the dashboard and all the other bits around it to remove any dust off there. This again was just using also finesse first, so on a damp microfiber cloth, which did a really good job of picking up all the dust that was around the vents and the center console. So I will quickly go over what mods I've done to the car at this point, since you can see them. I've since put a new radio in, so I've upgraded to the newer Audi Symphony. I've also stuck a Bluetooth module in there. I've stuck a new steering wheel, which is off the B8 model Audi A4, which just slots straight in, everything works, airbag, everything like that. Um, I've retrofitted steering wheel controls, cruise control, the driver information display, like I said before, new center console. I've also replaced all the door cards because they didn't match and I had a spare set of leather ones in the shed, which look a lot better. For some reason, someone had taken the Alcantara ones away and replace them with cloth versions. I'm not quite sure why they've done that, maybe sound system or something like that, and they cut into them. But the leather ones look a lot better with the car and match better than the cloth ones did. And I think that should be all the mods inside the car at the moment. Um, and then, of course, I just sprayed it with some air freshener. In this case, I just hit it with some morning wood. This is what the car looks like now, and overall I'm pretty happy with it. There's a couple of small jobs I need to do. I need to still replace the ashtray, and I could do with replacing the buttons on the climate control since the peeling. But apart from that, the rest of the interior is in really, really nice condition. If you see a little few uh, specks of dust on these shots, it's just because this is the car a few months after the initial cleaning of the carpets and the seats. But as you can see, they're still really clean and look really good with just a quick vacuum. Overall, 
And again, for a £750 car, I am very, very happy with both the interior and the exterior. It feels like it's a much more expensive car than what I've paid, and I'm very happy with it. And overall, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, as long as you like your car. Anyway, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you're alerted of all future releases. But until next time, see you soon and take care.